Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the monthly read for the month of May 2024. This reading is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, let's see what's coming in for you in the month of May time. Um, I will be adding a lot many cards here. So just stay tuned and before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. And for personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer, which includes the palm readings as well. So let's begin and let's find out what's coming in for you. We do have five of swords, ace of cups, page of cups, only the deck we do have two of swords. Oh, wow. So for some of you, you could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, or any water signs as well. But let's see what's coming up for Sagittarius. Hmm. Hmm. Let me take some more cards first. Two of Swords, okay. Knight of Pentacles, okay. And then Eight of Pentacles. Underneath the deck, we do now have the Tower. Underneath that, we do have the Justice. Underneath that, we do have Four of Souls and Three of Pentacles. Okay, and underneath that, we do have, okay. So, what I see here, Sagittarius, is um, I really see someone um who might have had other options in in their life um now they want to come to you now they want to talk to you now they want to tell you that they want you now they want to um take action towards you and um uh, want to make this relationship work with you they might have chosen other people over you before um uh, but i really feel like you know they now want this relationship with you um i really feel like you know this this person returning or this person coming to you and choose you and to propose you to open up about their feelings to you might be satisfying but i really see you indecisive um whether you should give this person a chance or not because maybe because of the past that they have had with you you might feel like you know this is um you know okay fine they are coming back okay fine they're opening up okay fine they are you know talking about marriage commitment proposal but are they worth giving another chance that's something which is going to make you feel like i don't know shall i give them a chance or shall i just let them be for some of you could be de dealing with a libra very strong at that i feel like you know you, libra virgo could be also like you know um the signs that you might be dealing with libra is coming stronger than anything else but um i really feel like you know you you would uh, you would feel like i don't know i'm not sure shall i give you or uh, should I trust you or give you a chance or not? Now, I really feel like, you know, to be honest, what I see here is whoever it is that you are having uh, coming towards you in love, um, this person um, is still under the influence of other people. I really don't think that they are ready to give you commitment. They are ready to give you what you want. Uh, yes, they want to, but they are not independent enough to make that choice for themselves. So I really see them taking action towards you in the month of May, but... And that too, with a promise that they want to make it happen, that's perfectly fine. But do they have the choice that they are going to like, you know, make it happen? As of now, I really don't see this. I really feel like, you know, this person is still under much, under pretty much of the control of other people in their life. And until unless they break free from those people, their life will never be like how they promise you to, you know, to have that, you know, uh, if they promise you, I want to marry you, I want to give you commitment, I want to live with you and blah, 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 they will, uh, they will be unable to give you what you, what you, you know, want and what they are telling that they will give you until unless they walk away from the people that they are like in dealing with right now or they are living with right now. For some of you, you might be dealing with a married man, or married woman, and until unless they break free from that connection, they will never be giving you what you want with them. So they might be lying to you. They might be hiding, you know, um, the, the reality from you. Yes, they want you, but at the same time, they will not give you anything. They will not satisfy your needs until unless they break free from the third party situations. Third party situations can be their family, their work, their third person in their life. But whatever the case says, this person wants you. They want to tell you that they love you, that they have feelings for you, that they miss you, that they want this relationship. But at the same time, they are stuck with something very strong 
uh, that they cannot break free from it. You know, they will try to, to make you believe them. They will try to make you understand them. But I really feel like, you know, you will feel like, no, you don't want to give them a chance until unless things get clear, until unless they leave the third parties, until unless they choose you, until unless they commit to you completely, 100%. I really feel like, you know, yes, um, you will stay in touch um, back and forth with this person, but you will not get the satisfaction uh, that yes, they are going to provide you what you want with them in the month of May. I really don't see that coming. Let me take one card to reconfirm that from the middle of the deck. We do have the Knight of Cups. Again, they will keep you in that loop of being on the waiting side. They're going to keep you, oh, no, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make it happen. Just trust me, have faith and blah, blah, blah. But I really don't see coming true in the month of May at least. So I really feel like you, know, you will have troubles. Like moving on from this person is not going to be easy for you because you will feel like, you know, I don't know what this person wants with me because you know, you, this person makes you feel like you are the one, you know, um, they are the one for you. That's how they kind of like, you know, manipulate you with their words, with their emotions. Um, and uh, then you feel like you have nothing in your hand because they are not giving you what you want with them. They just keep you kind of like in the clouds of uh, those doubts and lack of clarity is always there what, what they give to you. So I really feel like you would have a tough time with this person kind of like, you know, realizing what, what has... Um, what can be done or what can happen in this relationship for sure but at the same time i really feel like you know this is something where where you have to understand your your situation better because your person whoever it is that you're dealing with they are not um being um you know they are not being like truthful to you i really feel like you know they, they fear that they might lose you, which is the reason why they're going to act like kind of cool, but they are not cool with with their current circumstances. There is something shitty happening in their current circumstances and they cannot promise you the future, but they want you to understand them. They want you to give them a chance. They want you to believe them when they tell you that I want to give you the future. But deep down, they are scared. They might not give you what you want. So I really see you stuck with someone who is not, you know, um, showing you the true picture of their life right now. So let's see what else is the guidance for you in the month of May. What else is the guidance for you in the month of May? Real feelings. You share true romantic feelings worth exploring. I feel like you know, there's a lot of romantic feelings that you have with this person, but at the same time, this is what it is. Um, perfect match. I feel like, you know, um, you complete each other in most harmonious way. So there is something that is special in this relationship. But at the same time, I really don't see it going next level. It's it's going to stick around the way it is right now in your life. Twin flame recognition. You know the soul that mirrors your own. I feel like, you know, you would feel like a solid connection with this person. But there is like lack of honest communication in this relationship right now. Honest communication, expect a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, this person and you definitely have a solid bond. You feel like you belong to each other. But at the same time, there is lack of open communication and honest communication in this relationship, which is something that is missing. And until and that happens, your relationship will be like, you know, slightly the way it is. And um, I really don't see it kind of like changing. And the equation is not going to change in the month of May for sure. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for the month of May. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe. And if you're willing to purchase any of the services that I offer, check the description box for that. Till I do the next read for you guys. Take care and bye.